Hi everyone, so uh, I mean, I, I don't ever really get to the Pokemon announcement videos when they actually come out around 9 a.m. because I'm trying to sleep. Uh, I get home anywhere between, I mean, I, I mean, I usually out till 12 usually at <laughs> most nights and don't get to bed till 1 or 2. So, yeah, I don't know, I mean, I'll actually wake up and watch the video uh, briefly on my phone, like around now, I'm like, oh, is it 9? It's past 9. Oh, it's 9, 10. Okay, let's watch the video. <laughs> but I don't, um, usually actually do the videos that early. But no, we're here. And we finally, we finally got our middle stage evolutions for the starter Pokemon. And a lot of other stuff that came out of that, too. Um, but let's, let's just go over. Let's go down the list. So we have Rowlet. Rowlet's right here. And Rowlet evolves into this guy, which is, I believe, Dartrix? Yes, Dartrix. Dark Tricks goes from the Grass Quill Pokemon to the Blade Quill Pokemon. Uh, now, Dark Tricks is a uh, looking at uh, now from all the designs. I like actually like um, probably his the best. Uh, he's got this kind of he's got a bit of an emo punk uh, look going on a little bit, which I'm not a fan of like emo culture that much. Nothing against you, but it's just not something I dig on. But they do say it even says that he has a fussy stage and just uh, it goes beyond propelling. Oh, crazy! It cares great detail about its appearance, grounding, grooming its feathers in every spare moment. In truth, it's also a bit of a bird brain with with a tendency to bungle things up. Once it makes a mistake, it sometimes it gets into a depth sort of struggle to gloss over the situation, and ends up making a bigger mess. I didn't notice that part when I first read this. So it's an idiot bird that cares about its appearance. At times, a Pokemon feels so barred by its, by its dirty, rough affairs it can't focus on battle. When it loses focus, it sometimes retires from the battle on its spot. It's up to each trainer to help Dartrix overcome its troublesome shape. If the Pokemon, if this Pokemon with a trainer uh, with a, is with a trainer to help it throw it, its strength will grow hugely. Uh, and it fires quills, uh, well actually it fires blades, things along those lines. Sharp concealed bl feather blades. So, overall, whoo. <laughs> overall, I do like the design overall. It's actually a very nice looking design. It's a bit, it, looks like, it looks like the next stage of Rowlet because, I mean, look, whoo. Okay, yes. Down. Up. I mean, look, look there's Rally's all cute and butt around, and then you go into Dark Tricks, which, yeah, you can definitely see where he comes from Rowlet, but he's he's definitely a further evolution. And he's also, you can tell, look at him and say, that's not the final evolution of Rowlet. Now, I have to address these because the Ash Greninja thing came up. Ash Greninja has been actually confirmed to be in some way, shape, or form. If we're getting a demo on the 18th for the game with Ash Greninja being featured, and you can trade it and all that stuff. Um... That being said, so with Hashka Ninja, I have to address some of the Chinese leaks, because a lot of the, or the, the leaks, especially the Starter Evolution leaks. Um, now, a lot of people are wondering if these really play into those or not, and if, if those are, if this confirms it more or denies it more. Here's the thing. Two out of three of these forms, I could actually kind of see in some ways going towards their final evolution. With Rowlet's Dartrix form, with Dartrix, um, I can kind of, less so than Populos, uh, Populos, I can actually see it leaning towards the art, especially the, the quills in his hands definitely kind of lean towards that archer style. But to be fair, the whole, the like the emo-shaped feather over its hair, the hair emo feather, the bow tie, it all, the rest of it doesn't necessarily line up with its final evolution, supposedly. But who knows? Moving on, we have Toracat. Toracat, uh, yeah. Which is the evolution of uh, Lit uh, Litten. Uh, and there he is. He's got a nice little flame ball, which is actually an organ hanging around. It's like he der derives flames from that. Very battle hardy, very battle loving. Uh, his mane serves as an excellent sensory organ as well. I, I say that, but what mane? I don't see any mane on there. I, I mean, they're talking about this thing? Or, okay, was, they they talking about this thing or that? I mean, those are whiskers. I don't, I don't know. I'm guessing maybe they're talking about the top top. Um, it's, it sometimes acts like a spoiled child for tra trainers or Pokemon with whom it built a relationship of trust. The cat, this, the cat punch that this Pokemon can dish out with its strong forelegs is extremely powerful. It can bend iron bars and knock out large men with a single blow. Now, you look at that, and if you look at the gameplay footage, that, those do not look like things that punch. Those are forelegs. And they even say forelegs in the description. Those are not punching things. So... 
from an uh, from an actual design standpoint, this actually looks the least like those uh, Chinese leaks. This this one doesn't look really like it at all. I mean, besides coloring, but its description indicates that it could turn into a fighting type, right? and it can punch and maybe might become bipedal inside. So I'm I'm not certain on that. Can we have a final evolution of a fire Pokemon that stays on all four legs? Can we just have that, please? Close thing we got is Typhlosion, which, by the way, a little fun note, he falls into a very select group of Pokemon whose secondary evolution stays on its uh, four legs. Um, I mean, because you look at um, Syndigal, and it's, it basically it joins Quolava in that, because um, both uh, Tepig and Finnegan both uh, start on their four legs, but go to hind leg form, bipedal forms. Uh, but by the way, none of the types change, basically. They stay the same. And then we have... Now, a lot of people are calling this Brioni. I'm actually calling it Bryoni. Because I think it, that actually makes more sense. Uh, and here it is. It's a little clown. Kind of like a little ballerina, sort of. It, it definitely has a bit of a ballerina feel to it. And it definitely you can definitely see where that siren can come from this. Uh, but it is the... By the way, the, there, as this one is the... Uh, tor, uh, torrent is the... Still the Fire Cat Pokemon. Whereas, Poppy goes from the Sea Lion Pokemon to Bryony, because Brine, so the sea, and Oni, I don't, I'm, not quite, I'm, uh, I'm not quite certain when that comes, the Pop Star Pokemon. It's very fond of dancing. It can learn dance. Maybe it can learn uh, some dance moves. Um, it makes bubbles that hit. It can learn Bubble Beam. On Moonlit Nights, you can sometimes see... Th uh, see throngs of Bryony dancing at once? Is that what a group of seals is? is a, that was a pod of seals. A throng of seals? I, was, I almost thought they said thongs. I'm like, you can see thongs of Bryony. Bryony and thongs. It's very disturbing. Um, dancing. Uh, it's always acting cheerful and positive even with sets. It's a very positive, uplifting Pokemon. Um, so, and we're probably not going to actually get the confirmation of the final evolution starters until uh, later on. But, um, like, look when the games actually come out, which honestly is kind of fun, because then I'll be like, I'm going to choose Rowlet, and maybe I'm right, maybe I'm wrong, I'm not going to look it up, I'm not going to look it up. I know, it's just going to evolve at this level, and I'm not going to look it up. I'm gonna be, it's going to be cool, it's going to be awesome. Um, but yeah, no, honestly, among the three, I dig on Rowlet and Popular all the best. Lit is the one that's never really, none of them are bad um, starter Pokemon, but not, Lit is the one that's never stuck with me, and that, and that uh, secondary form it cements the point. It just hasn't stuck with me. I'm not digging on it. It's not. It's also not that drastic of a change when you really think about it. I mean, it wouldn't really change. It got a little bigger. Coloring the pattern shifted a bit. Grew some grew an extra tuft on its head, and it's got a little flame orb. That's about it. The other two had some definitely drastic changes to them. So I definitely appreciate the more obvious changes to Poplio and Rawless evolution than Litten's. But anyway, we still have more to talk about. We have the... I can't remember exactly what it's called. Um, I, I, had a, I wrote down stuff on the notes, but it's it's essentially like a, a friend festival. I, think, I can't remember exactly what it's called, but it's a friend festival the hosted by Sophagies, which is essentially kind of like a giant um, communal Wi-Fi, play with players, play like mini-games, uh, do tasks by players, join certain groups, and get festival coins to collect things. It's really cool. There's like, they're all, there's different, um, different stores shaped like different Pokemon. It's really, really cool. You're riding a tourist to break some stones at one point. So that's really cool. Uh, or fun. Then they have something that's basically akin to the Digimon farm in, uh, like, Digimon, um, Dawn, like, and Digimon Dusk. And that um, your Pokemon in your PC can actually go to islands and do activities. There's like a training island to level up. There's um, or get stronger. There's uh, one you can find items. There's one where you can actually collect wild Pokemon for the Pokedex. I don't know if you actually catch them. I think they just um, um, I think they just add to the Pokedex overall, which is really cool. It actually encourages me to actually catch other Pokemon besides the ones I want for my main team. Which encourages me to actually catch non them Pokemon, because, again, as with anything, um, I always, as with any new generation, you always kind of like to try to catch Pokemon for just that generation, uh, for your first team, just for, just for the fun of it. That's, and normally that's what I do anyway, win the games, is try to just make it that generation, maybe throw one or two older generation Pokemon in there. Uh, but one of the few, two things that stuck out, one I didn't even notice, is that in the Japanese trailer, they show that there's an ice stone, which is probably how Volpix evolves. Maybe even Sandshrew and Sandslash. Um, 
because it looks like it's an evolutionary stone. But another thing I actually noticed, uh, and I don't, it's not confirmed or anything, but when they're showing, tr they're, uh, showing off trading, they're trading a Vulpex and a Sandshrew. Now, they're Alolan Pokemon, obviously. They're Ice types. The thing about that is, I because they're trading, I'm wondering, uh, they're probably trading between games, which makes me kind of wonder, are those Pokemon version exclusive Pokemon as as well as, say, like, um, uh, Pessimian and, uh, Oranguru. Are they, are they of urgent exclusive? I can't confirm or deny whether they are. Um, now, one second here. I think there was one other thing besides the Ash Greninja thing, but, um, uh, seeing as I do have internet access at the moment, I might as well use it. Um, uh, I cut myself. I don't know how I cut myself. Anyway, uh, so, yeah, that, that, um, New abilities page. What what the hell new abilities? Oh, yeah, that's right. Now I remember now. Um, no, other than that, you know, Festival Plaza. That's what it's called. And then the Pokemon Pe uh, Pelago. Like an Archipelago. Pokepelago. So, apart from that, and then new Global Link features, which I don't care about at all. Um, uh, but then we, but then they revealed the demo that's coming out on the 18th. And we have more information coming out on the 14th on its own. Plus, we got Koro Koro coming out. So, we got a lot of stuff coming out this month. Holy crap. Um... So we have they showed that you're going to be doing the demo with a very special Pokemon at Greninja, which has a back ability called Balbo. When an opponent when a opponent faints, when you defeat an opponent, it transforms into Ash Greninja. Which a lot of people have been wondering about that whole rumor that Ash Greninja would be in the game. It's in the game. It's in the game. So that really kind of changes things up. About some of those, I mean, most of those rumors have all been confirmed false. But a lot of them, a lot of them were always talking about Ash Greninja being in the game, and he's in the game in, in some capacity. He's not like in the main storyline or anything, but he, he's in there. So now I kind of, you kind of have to reassess some of some things, some rumors. Now, not all of them; most of them are still false. But like the ones that have not been deconfirmed yet, you may have to rethink a couple of them. Um, and lastly, uh, Mega Evolutions have returned. The Z, the Z ring can be used for Mega Evolutions. Now we don't know if new Mega Evolutions are going to be introduced. We just know that the Mega Evolutions are still in the game. We don't know, also don't know if they're post game or during the main campaign. We, we just don't know. Um, but yeah, it, we all assume they were coming back, and yeah, you can update the animation a bit, which is really cool. Uh, I definitely pretty appreciated that. So, yeah, I, it's cool. And uh, overall, I mean, would I have liked maybe a few, maybe, like one or two extra new Pokemon or something like that? Sure, I would have liked that. Like a pick a pick evolution or something like that. Or Komala's evolution. Uh, because honestly, apart from evolutions, I think we, oh, any new Pokemon are just now adding to the decks. Because we know for, like, the three Guardians, we know there's three other Guardians besides Tapu Koko and all the evolutions that we pretty much expect to show up. Um, apart from those, though, um, besides that, any new Pokemon just add to the number as a whole. Unless there's, like, new Pokemon evolutions that we didn't expect. Like, if, like I expect Wimpaw to have one evolution. It could have two evolutions. Who knows? Um, I still laugh. What, what if Wimpaw actually turned out? Because of that Wimpaw ability, it's hard to catch. So, what if it actually had become, um... And what was it, what if it was the pseudo legendary because it's so hard to catch because of that? But no. And there's Domino. Hi, Domino. You get here to see people often. Um. So yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, overall, no. I, I overall like the evolutions as a whole. I like Litten's the least, but our or I'm gonna have to get used to saying that. Uh, it's it's evolution's name. Like uh, what was it again? Uh ba 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 ba. Tora Cat. I don't actually know how that translates into, like... Because Lit and I can get... It's Lit, like Lit, Fire, and Kitten. I get that. Uh, Poplio is, uh, like a... Like a pop... For, like, pop star, kind of. And Leo, or Sea Lion, kind of thing. Like, and, and Rowlet, or... Our little ro uh, Owlet, or... Yeah, Baby Owl. I get that. Dartrix, I still get it. It's, uh... Trix is kind of a bird-style name. Dart is obviously because of the, uh, the uh, wings. Uh, Brion, uh, Bryony, as I put it, uh, I think they're supposed to be kind of like a ballerina or something like in there, or I think Brian is supposed to be in there as well. Uh, but Tor, Tora Cat, I'm, maybe it's supposed to be like Torchin Cat, which why didn't you call it Torch, or Torch Cat? No, I can see why you didn't call it that. Uh, but overall, yeah.
I digress. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And so if you want to review something, put it in the comments below and let us know we'll do a review of it at some point. Ideas for who would win, put those in the comments below too. Ideas for the soy phone who would win coming next week, put that in the comments below too. Otherwise, I'll just do the one I have on the roster. Which, if you can maybe give me a suggestion for that one, I would appreciate it simply because... Um, the wall, I, the soy phone was a difficult one to figure out who to pin, pit against to make it at least a somewhat a decent fight. Simply because her claims to fame are she's fast and she's prideful and arrogant. I had to kind of pick characters along those lines. Not the easiest thing to do in a long haul. But I digress. So thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Hoodlum will be up tomorrow.